expectations can run high on Valentine's Day for single people and those in a relationship. Here with some helpful do's and don'ts is women's health contributor and relationship expert, Dr. Michelle Callahan. Welcome back, doctor. Thanks. Can we agree that um, sending your loved one a portrait of you posing like a dog is a don't? <laughs> yes. Okay, I just wanted to get that one out there. Although we know how to do it now. <laughs> Although we know how to do it. Okay, the first one is a do. You say on Valentine's Day, do have realistic expectations. What do you mean by that? You know, people make Valentine's Day into the most romantic day. They expect gifts and special trips and all kinds of really extravagant things. So it's just important going into it to just be practical and realistic, knowing that your partner may not have the same idea mm -hmm. about how to celebrate it or may not even really be into Valentine's Day at all. Isn't that a conversation that you should have beforehand, like maybe even when you first start dating? Not as important as do you want to have children, but kind of like, what do you do on Valentine's Day? Should yes. I expect flowers? Are you yes. not a flowers guy? Because it helps to give you a better sense for what's going to really happen because then people are devastated when this amazing rose petal path doesn't greet them when they <laughs> right, open the right. door when you need to know your partner's just not into that kind of thing. Which brings us to our next point. You say don't let Valentine's Day define your relationship because if he doesn't lay out the rose petal path. It doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Exactly, but some people really feel that way. They think that the nature of the gift defines what the relationship is. So if you had a really great romantic one, then that means you're really in love, your partner really cares about you. But if they didn't buy you anything or they don't feel into Valentine's Day, that means your relationship isn't strong. And it's not true at all. You have to talk about it first. And some people may not be into the holiday, but they're still into you. That's right. And isn't it more important what they do throughout the year versus just yes, that one day? that's exactly how you should measure it. Sometimes people had a great night just the very night before or the day after. All right, so to solve all these problems beforehand, you say do agree on how to celebrate. Exactly. Talk about it ahead of time. Try to come up with a compromise because one person may be way into it, the other one isn't. So just try to find a happy medium where you can do some of the things you want, but some of the things your partner wants to. A lot of women think it's their day and they get to yeah. just drive the bus. But think about what your partner also would like to do. In this economy, a very important don't. Don't spend beyond your means. Yes, people go into debt on this. They don't want to just have a special dinner. They want to have several gifts. Some people stay in a fancy hotel. They want to make a whole trip of it. This is not the time to spend a lot of money. Don't go into debt trying to do this. There's lots of cheap, low cost, no cost away. You can have a romantic night at home. Wouldn't it mean so much more if your partner actually like made something for you or came up with something incredibly Absolutely. thoughtful? Absolutely. And get rid of some of the commercialism and yeah. get back to the true romance. Just spending time together for people who are busy and never get to see each other it would be a great romantic way to spend the day. Yep. Huge gift. All right. Let's talk about singles. What are they supposed to do on Valentine's Day? Singles should really get out. Don't stay home alone and feel bad about, you know, sort of what you're what you're doing. It's so, so many people since they feel as if, oh, what am I going to do? I'm single. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anybody. To Spend time with your friends and family. Change the meaning of Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, absolutely. Instead of thinking of it as only a romantic day, think about it as a day that you can spend with your friends and family, anybody that you love. When we were kids, we gave everybody Valentine's, even your teacher. Now it's like it's only about your romantic partner. Yeah. Make it about your friends and family. Is that, is that a good day for singles to go out and meet other singles? Yes, absolutely. We always think that Valentine's Day is going to be people out in couples. Just all couples, yeah. But there's all these single people who are going to be out and need to be doing really? things. So you, you think can, so? There's speed dating. There's all kinds of things. And even if you don't do other things to, to date the romantic piece, go out with your friends. You'll meet other singles. That's a good idea. And the final don't, whatever you do, don't stay home alone and eat cookie dough and ice cream because you don't have a mate. Don't feel bad about not having a mate. You have all these other days of the year. Be encouraged, be enthusiastic, be positive about the year to come. All right. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate it. Thank you.